recording there, YouTube. So I got to make a video, and I don't know how well it's going to turn out with this truck. That's the main reason why I haven't been making videos in the morning, because this truck is so damn loud. And my voice is muffled under the sound of diesel and uh, torsion bar clunking and bad roads. Anyway, so I heard a interesting theory last night. And I really got to be careful what I say on here. And I don't, I know I say that all the time, but I really have to be careful of what I say on here. Not only because this video is in risk of being uh, deleted, but uh, people's lives are at risk with this totalitarian, totalitarian regime we have in place right now. Um, I'm just going to make a quick prediction here and, you know, take it how you will. But if the constitutional, freedom-loving Americans do not take action, if we don't take action in securing our election process in securing our borders in securing our right to act out our constitutional rights our bill of rights the United States is going to be in a place so far worse than USSR Russia or Nazi Germany was in 1943. Right now, we have the equivalent of a gulag in Washington, D.C. Right now, we do not have a First Amendment. Right now, we barely have a Second Amendment. And some of you people may think that we do have a Second Amendment. But as it is written, we do not have a Second Amendment. This is where the theory I heard last night comes into play. In conjunction with the government hiring 86,000 86,000 that's roughly 2,000 per state uh, probably more depending on the population less depending on population IRS agents back it up armed IRS agents So in conjunction with the 86,000 hired, gunned IRS agents and the Second Amendment, if this totalitarian regime can keep the House, Biden was just talking about how he is going to outlaw assault weapons. And you and I both know that just because something is called an AR doesn't stand for assault rifle. <sighs> the ignorance of the American people is what's getting us to where is getting us to where we're going. Biden's not an ignorant schmuck. These people in power who pretend like they're doing these things because they believe they're being better for society. That's not why they're doing this stuff. These people know exactly what they're doing. And they're pulling the wool over your eyes. This is all a charade. Every single thing you
you see being played out on mainstream media is a charade. It's fake. It's phony. It's false. It's an act. It's a movie. The dichotomy of a two-party system is a effing lie. It is a lie. It is a bird with two wings. It's the same bird with two wings. The bird is controlling the wings. The wings being the dichotomy party system. Anyway, I'm getting way off over here in Brantland. So the theory I heard last night is a very good theory, and I do believe that if it uh, is able to be played out, that it will be the end of the country as we know it. Uh, what amount of country we have left. So if the Dems can keep the House, they're going to not quote-unquote outlaw assault rifles or ban assault rifles, but they're going to create a tax on assault rifles. And not too long ago, uh, the uh, the Supreme Court ruled that the government can make basically any tax they want. So, they can make this outrageous they, and they use it in forms of tax stamps so you paid your tax you get your stamp therefore you can prove that you're allowed to have this thing just like you do with the suppressors and certain chemicals now if they make the rifle ban or if they make a rifle tax that's astronomically ridiculous. So high that who would pay it? Unless you're a multi-millionaire and don't give a shit about money. Uh, then, uh, you know, so they make this tax stamp. You don't pay for it. And not the FBI and not the ATF and not the uh, DEA or whatever. They don't come to your house what comes to your house is an armed IRS agent. And they say, sir or ma'am, we have record of you running a background check to purchase this AR-15 from Walmart in 1996. And this is showing that you purchased it, yet you failed to buy your tax stamp. You are now a tax evader. You're under arrest, ma'am or sir. And by the way, where are your weapons? So, this is more of that... This, this goes in line with that. As long as you comply, as long as you comply, as long as you get your driver's license, as long as you get your uh, license plate, as long as you get your insurance, as long as you take your grocery cart back to the cart corral. As long as you, uh, you know, if you do these, th that's just an example. It's a hyper, it's, that's just a, that's hyperbole. It's, that's, that's, you know, that's ridiculous. And this is what that, what I just said was, but the more you comply, the more you get screwed. And that's just it. If people don't do stuff that the government wants them to do, the government won't be able to reach so far up your keister and grab your guts. Um, but we have to do this together. We can't do this just as individuals. You have to band with your friends. You have to say, hey, look, a tax stamp is coming out, blah, 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 blah. I'm not paying it. We can't, we all can't pay this. Y'all can't pay this. And if one of you does, then the other, you know, say there's five of you or whatever. If one of you guys pays it, then the other four of you guys are going to go to jail. You all have to not pay this uh, if it happens. Just like when they tried to remask us. 
you have to not put that thing on your face. It's that simple. Just don't do it. And there's going to be people out there that say that you're causing a scene. You're not causing a scene. It's the people that are trying to force you to wear that thing that are causing a scene. Anyway, mass noncompliance. That's where we win. That's how we win. That's how we take our country back. God bless you. God bless America. Stay happy and most importantly, I pray to God you stay free.